What's up guys, Mr. Barry here, or Adrenus, as some of you may know me, and today I am going to be showing you the Forbidden Lands. And in the Forbidden Lands, there are Hydras, Behemoths, Giant Spiders, uh, Carnifola, and several other creatures. So, you talk to the Blind Prophet, I believe you say Transport, yep, that's correct. And we can see someone's left a note here, however, I'm not going to be staying here too long. I am simply going through to make a video. And on the ground floor, hydras, giant spiders, and behemoths can be found, but they also have um, their own individual sections. So you can see I have them all marked on my map. And the first section that we're going to check out is the behemoths. And there's usually a behemoth spawned around here. Um, and there he is. So I used to hunt in this behemoth cave, like, very, very frequently when I was, uh, a bit of a lower level. Um, I believe around 130. And I also hunted the hydras. Being a sorcerer, hydras are very, very weak to, uh, energy. And also you can use explosions for the physical damage, as they are also weak to physical. And so we're going to wait for this behemoth to be skinnable, and of course we get nothing. And it looks as if the behemoth cave is empty, so we will see. And the idea for me, or many sorcerers, is to try to get many behemoths on you, and then use avalanches to bring them down. Now you can also use your energy waves, um, as the energy wave will do pretty heavy damage. They do have some resistance to energy, but it's not all too significant. And I actually haven't been here in a long time, um, just because, you know, I've got bigger and better things to hunt. But from what I've heard, there are new floors for behemoths, and I think hydras too. So we're going to check those out, um, and those will be new for me, so that'll be interesting too. And I'm actually really, really surprised that this isn't camped. Um, this is a very, very popular hunting area. I'm assuming that someone is at the giant spider spawn for sure. Uh, the giant spider spawn here is definitely one of the most popular GS spawns in the game, along with, of course, Yalahar. And I'm actually going to throw my gill legs on to give me a little damage boost. And up to the north here, we should find two behemoths. Yep, just two. And we're going to let loose a little energy wave to get some extra damage kicking through. And another one. So you can see how energy waves can be helpful while hunting here as a sorcerer. Um, they do do significantly more damage than the avalanches. Of course, if you're here as a druid or a paladin, and wow, did you guys just see that lag? Holy shit. So, we just got held up by a little bit of lag, and that makes me a wee bit nervous, um, trying to hunt behemoths here. So I'm going to take it extra careful. I do want to make this video for you guys, so I'll see what I can do, but, uh, so we got three behees here, and I'm going to drop a Rage of the Skies immediately to try to deal fast damage. Um, and we're just going to use avalanches on the behemoths, trying to drop them as quickly as possible. Now, you heard about Sipsoft um, introducing some new measures, you most likely heard, about Sipsoft introducing new measures to help us against lag. And I've heard mixed reviews on them. Um, many players are still dying from lag, and still losing uh, experience 
as well as items, um, you know, their skills. So there's kind of a mixed response on whether this measure is taking enough precaution. Honestly, I believe Sipsoft should fight a little harder to uh, protect people from lag. And the reason being, we work very, very hard for what we've earned in Tibia. At least those of us who do not bot all the time, you know, those of us who actually have played our characters for the majority of the time they've been around, you know, if not all of it. And so it's kind of a slap in the face to lose so much for something that isn't your fault. I mean, the majority of my deaths have been to lag. If, if I had never experienced lag through my ISP, or internet service provider, um, or through the actual Tibia servers being absolute shit and getting DDoSed, then I would be, like, on probably level 300. Um, and that's not a joke. That's, like, an actual figure. So... It's definitely kind of crazy to think that, uh, and you can see the lag here. I am getting destroyed by these behemoths, and I'm spamming Exura Vita. And we can see that I just lost my level from lag still. So, I'm sorry guys, I do want to do a whole video for you, but if you guys were wondering why Tibia videos aren't being produced, this is why. Um, there's just been far too much lag, and what is the point of playing this game when there's such, like, lag like this, like, honestly, I just lost several million experience while fighting behemoths, which I can easily defeat, and there's nothing I can do about it, you know, and what's the point, what, do I go out and hunt now, and just let myself get killed again? So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry I didn't get to complete the whole Forbidden uh, forbidden Lands area. I do plan on doing it at some point, but right now, there's just no point in me playing this game with the fucking way it is. Like, they really need to get on this and fix these DDoS attacks. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. They're trying to say that they put up measures. Well, you guys just saw how terribly bad I lagged, and I didn't get my blessings paid, I just lost all that shit for no reason, so seriously, Sipsoft, fix this nonsense, this is ridiculous, but thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, please leave a like, comment on this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you are already subscribed, and obviously don't worry about it, but I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I don't really want to make Tibia videos until this nonsense is fixed. Because being a sorcerer, it's just too easy for me to die. But we'll see. Now you guys know why I haven't been playing Tibia.